Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Anime Tower Defense series. So in the last episode we did a UI revamp, as you can see here. It now changes smoothly and the filters also work, as you can see. And yeah, today we will incorporate the view button, technically. And that is pretty much it. And also the deletion is working but there is a few yeah, there is a like a bug here but it should technically be deleted let me see if I join back in yes it is deleted so deleting something it's equipped can I don't know why it was was working, but it is working, so that's good. Also for the summoning, it also works very great. I just summon a few units, you can see it works, and also there's a shiny support. And yeah, also we want to make the a one change to the inventory, so when I make it visible again, I want to scroll and go to the container and change the automatic canvas size to x and y and there is something else we need to adjust to be called the same essentially let me see automatic canvas size yeah I don't know where the other one went. But yeah, it should be working now, so we should be able to add more and more stuff to our inventory. And you can see that the canvas size got adjusted here. And it's kind of not working. And this is because we have to disable something. But I cannot find it for what we have to disable. Let's only set this to Y. And when the origin is also only Y. And then. There should be something else. Set the camera size to two to make this visible. And let's create a template to make it visible. You can see it looks like this. And this is wrong because we want to. There is another setting, but I can't find it right now. Automatic size here the y only and now we have to go in here and just size this up as you can see now it's almost almost done change the background so i can see on the four or five and i think it's good like this and yeah if we i think if we change the camera size now it shouldn't be affected here as you can see it's not getting affected so that's good and but we want to make it a bit smaller so we'll set the cell size to maybe one seven and then the camera size so it's three 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 mm. maybe it's a bit too harsh three four i think Yes, that's, that's good. Let me change this back to white. Let me make this invisible again. It's inventory also. So now this automatically adjusts. Okay, doesn't. Why is this so weird? It should be like automatically adjusting. That makes like no sense.
this tends to x and y. And then what did the other one want again? So x and y obviously. Kind of weird to work with this, yeah. It like makes no sense. Okay, then I'm just going to reboot the settings. Okay. Okay, now everything. Just working on my for the view button now. Let's get going. So in the main, we want to make a new frame for the image, sorry. Let's call this frame the view. We want to make it size one one. So she wants to make it in the main. We want to make it invisible. And then what we want to do is in the inventory when we click on a view and select it view and then select it give it view dot mouse that one click on connect function and then what we want to do is we want to disable both the buttons so you go menu okay you can specify this I didn't okay it's not to it's menu I okay so then Scroll down again. What did I have the thing now? Here. And then menu I dot inventory dot visible single default and menu I dot summon dot visible single default and then we want to do menu i dot view dot visible here and then we just want to turn the view frame so in the view frame we want to have a uh, we want to have a what's it called I always forget what it's called I'm also sick right now so I'm not that focused we want to insert a viewport frame. We'll just make it like this. Put it in the middle. Or even a bit bigger. Let's just make it like 0 0.6 or 0.6. Or we'll just do 0 0.5 to 5. And 0 0.5 to 5. And then let's go ahead and save it in the template in the unit frame. Set the viewport frame here. Grab there and just paste this into here. Because it already has like the properties. And then what we want to do is we want to make a back button. So let's copy the unicode button and paste it into here. And then move this button to like here. And let's call this the back button. Change your text to go back. And yeah, then we want to display all the info essentially. So cost level name we can copy. And also paste into the view. And yeah, then we can scale this down. And set the text 
text alignment to center and set the position 0.540 into position here we have to position them all here's um, 0.5 and this 1.5 and the name also to 0.5 and now this one skip the level a bit down we should get all of them and just scale them up a bit and now we have all our properties and now we can make the view frame invisible again and then go back to our inventory and set this and then we want to set up the view frame so local view is equal to manually.view and then what we want to do is we want to set the view and then dot cost dot text is equal to and then the selected cost we just get here just set this to the selected cost dot text essentially and we can do the same with the selected level just set the view dot level dot text selected level dot text and then also the name view dot name dot text is equal to the selected name dot text and then for the let's see for the unit frame here um No, I think we should use this here. So this and this this and then we should also go ahead and get the unit frame code and just paste it here. So we have to modify it in the unit frame, it's not the visual view. So it's unit frame. And then we just get it like this and we drag it to this. So the current camera and we get the unit module. And the view of the back. As well as one more click, connect function. We don't want to clean this all up, so we want to make the viewport frame, viewport frame, and then do like four. We want to do the viewport frame, find this child, and then the camera. Let's see, we need to create camera in the UI module. Let's go there. And then we need to create camera. The name is camera, okay, perfect. So then we can just find first child camera. Call this child. And the same thing with the unit module. And find first child, which is a model from this track and that's pretty much it and then what we want to do is we want to get this can we can keep this and then we want to set the view back to false and we want to set this back to true we also want to set the inventory dot visible back to true and here we want to set the inventory that visible. Let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. So then let's go ahead and 
make sure we have the view frame not visible and let's try this out so we go in the inventory press on something click view as you can see it shows the units and when we click back we are here of course we need a okay this is not getting okay the inventory is not getting made visible and there's also something here just in the 127 for the camera child which is a camera now we got it also the main UI dots inventory course yeah so this is supposed to be the inventory button inventory button inventory button and yeah let's go ahead and now we click on the view see that it all works and there's still something to destroy Okay, let's see. So we go in all player GI. Go to the main, we go to the view, viewport frame. And we have multiple cameras in there. And multiple units. Okay. I think we can just go and clear all children also be working so let's go ahead and just run people frame clear all children and yeah no errors working great and yeah so this is pretty much it for this episode uh, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.